Lesson 2 The Tale of Homecoming Read the story of Bangabandhu's homecoming to answer the question that follow. Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was arrested by Pakistani army immediately after his declaration of independence at the first hour of 26 March 1971. He was taken to Pakistan as a captive and imprisoned there in a small cell of capital punishment unit 7 january 1972 even a grave was dug in front of his cell but mujib was fearless he knew nothing would stop the bengalis to gain independence in fact his name and independence become sino synonymous synonymous so the whole world world was awaiting breath breathlessly to witness his homecoming and he had a grand homecoming indeed narrated by eminent columnist and writer Syed Bajul Hassan an abridged vision of that narration is presented below in the in the evening of 7th january 1972 bangabandhu left chaklala airport in rawalpindi from where he would fly to london nine months earlier he was brought to pakistan as a prisoner with a little hope to learn and now he was free to go home pakistan as soon as the pia aircraft took off was finally behind him early in the morning on 8 january 1972 bongwondo arrived at heart low airport the news of bongwondo's arrival in london spread quickly journalists the general public british officials and politicians and bengali residents in the city made their way to hotel Khalid's Khalid's news bulletins on the BBC and other media organization made note of Bangabandhu's arrival in their headlines by early afternoon the father of nation and had made the British Prime Minister Edward Heath and the leader of opposition Harold Wilson. Then he called Dhaka uh, for the first time since his er- since his arrest by Pakistan Army in March. Spoke to his family a long conversation. Then followed with Prime Minister Tajuddin Ahmed Ahmad. The conversation with his family and with Tajuddin were emotional affairs but he now had a clear picture of all that happened in his absence in Bangladesh. It gave him immense pleasure knowing that he had truly liberated his people. Bangabandhu's opening word at crowded news conference conference that evening at Claridge was a touch poetic. He expressed the unbounded joy of freedom achieved by his people in an epic liberation struggle. Bangladesh, he hold the crown, was a reality and would fulfill its obligations as a part of international community. He made it clear that those who were involved in different types of crimes, including genocide, would be trialed by his government. Bangabandhu left London for Dhaka on the 9th January evening in 1972. On the way, he would stop over in Delhi. He was welcomed at Delhi's Palam Airport in the morning of 10 January by President V.V. V. Giri, 
Prime Minister Indian Gandhi Indra Gandhi West Bengal politician and Chief Minister Siddhartha Shankar Rai and the chiefs of the Indian Army forces armed forces Bangabandhu stayed in Delhi for about two hours during this time he addressed a public rally and mesmerized everyone there he wholeheartedly thanks Ms. mrs gandhi the people of the politicians of india for the tremendous help they had provided to bangladesh and its 10 million refugees Then it was on Dhaka, on to Dhaka, where millions of people had begun to crowd the route that their leader would pass and the race course Maidan where the leaders would deliver a speech before going home. On the tarmac at Tijgao airport, Soldiers of the Indian Army and the Mukti Bahini were on standby to present Bongo Bangladesh's presidents with a guard of honor. Members of the wartime cabinet waited in the winter sun as did a horde of newsmen. Sometime after 1.30 p.m., the the comet aircraft made available to Dhaka Bongabundu by the British government landed in Dhaka. As soon as the doors of the aircraft opened, Bongabundu appeared. It was clear he hold lost weight due to imprisonment for nearly 10 months in Pakistan prison. A big smile appeared on his face as he swept back his hair with his right hand. Prime Minister Tajuddin Ahmed then moved forward and buried his hand in his leader's chest. Both men broke down. The tears soon led to moist eyes in nearly everyone else present around them. Present around them. Once the form formalities at the airport were completed the father of nation climbed on a board of an open truck with the mujib nagar government figures and the student leaders crowding around him he handed for the race course he headed for the race course the two mile stretch of r road would take the pros procession almost three hours to cover. At the race course, Bangabundu wept, remembering the sacrifices of the B Bengalis and made in the war against Pakistan. He told how the military junta had tried to eliminate him during his trial he said i told them i am a bengali and a muslim who only dies once i would walk the gallows with head held high the father of the nation remarked the bengalis had become the golden children of golden bengal quoting the poet Rabindranath tagore who once had complained that the people of bengal had remained me meaty bengalis but were yet to become true human beings mujib told the jubilant crowd that the poet had been proved wrong come back a poet he in toned he intoned dramatically and see how your bengalis are today transform into worthy men 
moments later as dusk and, dusk and winter haze settled over Dhaka, Bangumandu, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman made his way back to his family. They had been waiting for him at the house in Dhanbundi Road No. 32, where he had left his family before the Pakistan army arrested him on the eve of the liberation war.